How are you doing, loves? So today is Sunday, August 14th, and I've kind of been reflecting on some of the intensities of this year, and then the overwhelming peacefulness that I got to experience Saturday. It was like um, knowing of a, a end of a cycle kind of thing. Um, really embodying my divine feminine aspects. How about that? Because I've always been one to, you know, uh, how should we say, everything was a universal for like my clothing and presenting myself very standoffish very closed and now I'm just like you know since January really opening trusting my intuition even more and yeah distrusting so and I can't explain all of the things that I'm am in the knowing of, yet I had the honor and privilege of reading through some of my notes today from the beginning of this, this year, going, wow, okay, I've done this, okay, wow, I've held this intention, I've been doing this, and navigating some of the spiritualized ego a lot um, and I've had to remember to smile at those moments going oh yeah I was quite the bitch at that moment <laughs> but be that as it may you know we we can we make the choice of how to lift you know if we want to lift you don't you could spiral down you can spiral laterally or you can go through you know that's the cross of perfect balance and there is no right way or wrong way because you're always navigating it and you're sitting there going, wow, okay, that happened. Anyway, embodying my wanting, I, I can't even describe it, you guys. There's been a lot that's transpired. I don't know about you, but there's been a lot and respecting that, recognizing that, is a miracle in itself. With that, I hope you have a perfect rest of your day, perfect week, and the wherewithal to know you are divinely guided because you are a divine being. You know, we, we get to have this experience right now, and we can be polarized by it, or we can say, hey, enough is enough, and look inward, you know, because the inner work starts to transform the outside, and I'm experiencing that in a number of an emergent ways. <laughs> kind of goes to, let it be fun. <laughs> All right, I will holler at you later. Bye for now. Yeah, I'm back real quick. Um, so has anyone else noticed how some of your favorite childhood animals have been coming forward and communicating? I will say that elephants have been wonderful in my life. I've only ever seen one elephant, maybe two. I can't recall. Maybe two. Um, at the San Diego Zoo. And my proverbial youth here so I feel like I need to quantify that statement but I'm not going to anyway have you noticed how many think because they speak in a low harmonic vibration and it was recorded it's been documented it's so low you can't even hear it the Gaia is speaking at such a level right now the intensity of it is coming through other animals. 
what are you noticing? I, I, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot of us that are just, you know, arm in arm going, okay, I can do this because the things you've been taught, you're unlearning to remember your essence. And it's not gibberish. I know that there are other people out there that have similar experiences with no way to truly articulate, okay? And right now I'm being the quote-unquote distraction coming in with flies. You know, keep your eyes on the divine at all times. Pay attention. Pay, 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 pay attention to everything. The inner work, it's time to come out. All right. There is no right or wrong. Again, it goes back to polarities. The whole thing of, of sensing a push or pull, that's not normal. It's just not. Go with the flow. Flowing, keep going. Stuck, give it up. Some of the best words I ever heard. And their words. What does your soul say? How do you ring through you? Okay. Apparently I'm complete now. Have a good day. Bye for now.